Hey guys, so I asked you on Twitter which uh, video you'd want me to film first, whether it be most influential songs of my life, makeup haul slash last haul ever, and or what was the other one? Eyebrow routine. Pretty much everyone said most influential songs, so here are my top 10 songs of life. Now, I don't know why I challenge myself to do this. I really don't because it is so hard. If you're a fan of music and you love so many bands, it's almost impossible to narrow it down. It is almost impossible. It's impossible to narrow it down, okay? One little disclaimer, this uh, list is probably gonna surprise a lot of you because as you know, I love metal music. There is not one metal song on this list. As much as I love Sismova Down and Linkin Park, well, Linkin Park's not really that metal. Flipknot Corn, Marilyn Manson, like, I love them all, but their songs didn't speak to me in a way that these songs did. And the way I took this this challenge of myself is to narrow down my top 10 songs is what I feel when I listen to them. So this is very much an emotional list for me. It's their songs that honestly make me happy or nostalgic in a way, encourage me through life. I don't know. Let's get into it. These are in no order. Uh, that would be ridiculously hard to put them in an order, let alone just narrowing it down. I'm gonna start with the hardest song on the list. Like, this is the most hardcore song on this list. So this is just gonna set the precedent for how chill this list really is. MCR Famous Last Words. This is a song that didn't really mean much to me until recently, and it's because of the words, like, I mean, they speak to me, and I think they speak to a lot of people. Number two, no surprise here, Modest Mouth Float On. I have a tattoo of this song on my arm, so that shows you how much I love this song, how much this song means to me. It's been my favorite song since, again, eighth grade, so over a decade. It's my only tattoo that I have, but it is the most meaningful thing that I could have ever gotten. Um, I did get it facing me, so it's something I can remember, and it's something that I look at and think of that song and know that everything's going to be okay. I mean, I, I love, this is my favorite thing in life of being on here and this is my favorite thing that you guys do. There have been times when I felt down and you guys tell me to float on and it is the sweetest thing and it always makes me smile. And also, you guys always tweet me pictures when it comes up on Pandora or something or what when it comes on the radio. You guys always tweet me saying how you think of me. So this song is just so me. It is always going to be probably my number one favorite song. I think I can say that hands down. Third song on this list is Wide Eyes by Local Natives. This is... I can... Okay, it's, this is a hard video to make. It really is. Not just narrowing down the songs. Like, that process is already done. I already got the list on here. It's talking about the songs because you can't explain the feelings that you get when you listen to music. So, or at least I can't, I'm challenged in that way. It's hard to talk about songs that mean so much to you and you can't explain why. But Wide Eyes is just one of those songs I've loved for years and years, probably over five years now. And it's one, when it comes on, I just, I can't explain what I think about. I don't know how to talk about it. Number four is another Modest Mouse song. It's the only band that I duped on here. Everything else is just individual bands, Modest Mouse had to go on here twice and the music video is exactly what I would imagine the music video to be and I also want to tell you that I made a Spotify playlist of all these songs just these songs so if you want to listen to a playlist that epitomizes me then I will have that link down below you guys always want to know like Spotify or playlist links and things like that so I did make a playlist already and I will have that link down below. But Ocean Breeze Salty has just the vibes to it that are so summer and like spring and happy and I can't explain it. It's just so like such a beautiful song. Next we have Sweet Disposition by The Temper Trap. Again, it's one of those songs that really just gets to my soul. I heard it on a commercial once and I looked it up immediately and ever since it's been one of my favorite songs because it is very happy. Next one is probably the happiest song on this playlist. It is Bag Raiders Sunlight. And this is the ultimate, like, I just want to dance to this song kind of song. And I have done that so many times. Even when I'm down, if I listen to this song, you can't be sad when you hear that song. Like, you just, when it starts playing, you're like, everything's good now, and then you want to dance. Next is Washed Out Amorphati. And this is one that really 
got me through the hard times. I was really into washed out uh, right after my big breakup um, from my ex, which was a couple years ago. You guys went through that with me. I've loved washed out for so long. They just have the ultimate like vibes. I love studying to washed out because they're not necessarily lyrics you can really hear, except for this song, Amor Fati. Hope I'm pronouncing that right, I have no idea. Next up we have the Postal Service, Such Great Heights. This is one that I'm kind of not sure if it really belongs on this list, but it is such a great song, so I had to include it at least, you know, I don't know. But again, it's one I've loved since high school, and it's, again, it's one of those happy songs. It's just so happy, and it's like a really cute love song, and I really like it. Next we have Two Door Cinema Club, Changing of the Seasons. I could not just not include a Two Door Cinema Club song on this list because there are so many that I like and picking just one was so hard. Two Door Cinema Club, Changing of the Seasons, the lyrics I just love. It's such a sassy song and I love the sass in it and I just I love singing to it. And then lastly The Killers, Read My Mind. This is one of those songs that I would listen to every single day on repeat while I would walk to work from my apartment to the college that I worked at. So. I just, it just became like engraved in my soul. And I do want to say that more than anything, the artists that I listed on this list are what mean so much to me. There's, the songs are very specific, like I love those songs very much independently, but also it's so hard to pick songs from artists that you love. So all those artists are very much meaningful. There we have it. My top 10 all time favorite, most influential songs of my life. I'd like to challenge you guys to do it, uh, anybody watching, any other YouTubers uh, that are watching that want to do it, definitely do it. I think Diet Blanche should definitely do it, I'd be into that. But definitely check out all these uh, artists and songs and everything like that. Like I said, I will have the link to the Spotify playlist that I made of all these songs if you want to listen to them um, down below. I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.